Liam. Hey, Ben. I haven't seen you in ears and ears, but I still know you. Don't get cheeky now. Um, you serious, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 57 of the Nance Faves podcast. I'm one third of your hosts. We'll count producer Zag as a host at this point. Um, Hosting these nuts in his mouth. Hello. Hello. Let's get fucking drunk. Sun's out, guns out. Let's blaze. It is actually a lovely day in London, mm. London town. I thought it was meant to rain today. But oh, it's mate, really they've nice. been saying on TikTok, this is the big storm that's going to hit London in the next few days. It's going to be taking over. Fuck off. It's the sun's out every day. No one knows. The weather app changes every 40 minutes. Yeah, so I'm convinced you. that nobody actually knows what the weather's going to be. And no just, one. Everyone just, just guesses. guesses at this point. Everyone just guesses. I'd say for Jane can, Bunn, she they, knows what she's doing. Jane Bunn's goaded with it. But I reckon that the only people that, the only things they can actually guess is the fucking, like, if there's a tsunami or a tornado or something tsunami. like that. They, they can guess those, but they, <laughs> they don't know what degree it's going to be today. They don't fucking have any idea. They said it was going to rain. It's sunny and it's 50 degrees. Yeah, and they say it's going to be a top of 25 and a low of 12. So yeah, yeah I could fucking tell you that. It's mm. going to be between 12 and 25. Yeah, it's probably yeah, going to be somewhere in the realm of 30 degrees. Sun's probably going to be out, and if it's not out, there's probably going to be clouds. You know, my favorite degree of numbers is when it's like, I don't know, well, t- top of 17 and a low of 9. Like, I love living my life between those numbers. You, you're <laughs> the uh, start spreading the news. Bum, 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 bum. The uh, great I'm AFL grand final was today. yesterday. If this goes up the day, it should. <laughs> oh, Zach. Well, that's no. A shot at you. No, well, I'm it, saying. Wouldn't it be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah it's always on a Saturday. Yesterday. So people would be nursing their grand final hangovers. Mm, also. And what a game it was. Yeah. yeah. Unreal. And Sydney were up. And then Brizzy were up. And then, and then some, the, one of them won. And then he they won. won. Oh, I'm like, how crazy. Fuck that goal that was kicked. Fuck wow. Sydney. Fuck Brizzy. I'm very happy Geelong didn't make it. What do you say fuck me for? <laughs> fuck both those teams. Who won last year, Brizzy? doesn't even matter if you win this year because we did it first. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah. You're salty. Yeah. I hope Sydney win. I, I hope really Sydney hope win. Sydney win. Yeah, I really want Sydney to win as well. But there'll definitely be more They're a good Brizzy young fans. team. They're fucking playing hot footy. Mmm. They kick goals. What are our predictions for Coleman uh, winning team? Okay. Coleman winning Col- team. You mean Norm Smith. Norm Smith, sorry. Uh, winning team, Sydney by 17 points. Jeez. And actually, I'm going to change it to nine points. Actually, I'm going to change it to three. Oh, my God. Three points. And Coleman, I mean, Norm Smith will be... Can you, you answer yours? I'm going to think about my Norm Smith. My Norm Smith is going to be Isaac Heaney mm-hmm. and the Sydney will win by eight points. And well, no, this all happened yesterday. So that, that is what happened. Mm. What do you well, reckon? Uh, Chad Warner, Norm Smith. Ooh, oh, I feel like fucking Cam Rayner could get it. I reckon. And a lose, and they lose, and you reckon you'll win Norm Smith. If 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 Brizzy win, I think Cam Rayner will get it, and if uh, Sydney win, I think Isaac Kenny will get it. I reckon it. if Brizzy win, Charlie Cameron will have a fucking blowout, and he'll win. Yeah, I think if Brisbane, I feel like he'll kick like just like five or six goals or something. Who like won that? The, who won it last year? Bobby Hill. Yeah, I think if Brisbane kick more goals and points, they'll probably win. But then if <laughs> Sydney kick more goals and points, then Sydney might win. It's on at five thirty in the morning, yeah. London. So Sunday we, morning. Well, but when this comes out, we'll have figured it out. But is it Sunday morning? Yeah, yeah. We've yeah. got to we've got to figure uh, out what our plan of attack is. No, no, no Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. So, We're yeah, behind. So well, we got to figure out what our plan of attack is. I don't reckon we. Stay up the night before nah, and for fuck it. No way. No well, because we are going to have to start drinking. Like, we're going to have to go to bed at like we 6 We need to PM. buy tickets to the event. At the Falcon? No, we're not going to watch it there. Where are we going to watch it? Clapham. The Grand. Clapham Grand. Where is that? It's in Clapham. In Clapham. And it's grand. Why would it, why would we it's go like to Clapham? Because it's like a massive. It's a massive. It's way, like you'll actually be yeah. able to watch it from But it's like a ticketed event. Day. How much are they? I think like 10 quid. Ah, 40 bones, maybe? <sighs> 40 Skittles? No, you gotta. You, you, We're gonna you, have to wake up early, as you're we'll, allowed to get into the event uh, without a ticket. You just have to mad dog the security guard and, and beat him in a fight, a or, thumb war, or jerk him off to completion <laughs> in under sixty seconds. Should we talk about the fucking White Fox event with Mashtag and what he did? Yeah, we should because that was funny as fuck. 
So you take it away, Benny. So la Thursday night, we went to we got invited to this White Fox event. And I don't know how the fuck we got invited back to it because the first one we're at. Shout out to Daniel, the owner. He's yeah, fucking he's a legend. He's a legend. Um, the first one we're at, me and Ben Garen's got Ben Garen's and I. Ben Garen's and I got because it's a free bar. And so we just got super, super, super drunk. And uh, and then I was making threats all night that I was going to blow up the event <laughs> to the owner's face. <laughs> and he's, he, I'm glad he saw the funny side of it. But, like, I think the, the joke got old pretty quick and I was slurring my words. And, yeah, I woke up with some pretty terrible anxiety the next day. Don't know how we got invited back, but we did. And then we went to the uh, the other one two nights ago, met up with the boys beforehand, Jack Joseph, Cole, Mashtag Brady met him for the first time and he lives up to his reputation. Mm. Just putting down drinks and... Uh, we got we walked in and they had like those trays of fucking champagne and Ben tried to pull it up when you like pull it out. Was, was just knew from there you, that I was destined it, for If you failing. pulled it up and it fucking... You dropped the whole tray and they will smash. I would have uh-huh. pissed. Ben did smash glasses though. He smashed one on the dance floor. Yeah, he see, like, I don't even remember that. Ben like was pretending to throw it and then he just threw it to someone and they obviously didn't catch it and it was like full of drink and it just smashed on the ground and then I was like, oh my God. I think, yeah, Liam's going to have to God. tell the rest of the story because and, yeah, ben, I remember going to the event and I that's about it. Yeah, we we walked in, they had the trays of free champagne so we were all taking them and then I took one, I like sipped it, looked over and mash tag it had it for, like, for probably eight seconds more than I had and it was already gone. I was like, should we go to the bar? And we went to the bar I kind of I started drinking really hard really early and then I just kind of like fucking just kept drinking and didn't really I wasn't nowhere near as bad as Ben but I went up to the bar and ordered a triple tequila lime soda and then I sculled it yeah that was like fucking fuel and I was like fuck but yeah we held on and one of us was all right but yeah Ben was wearing a shirt that said I'm terrified of women which was Zach's shirt and everyone was taking photos of him and fucking So you guys it. just raided my fucking closet for this. Yeah. It yeah. was great. But, I got so many compliments on it. Yeah, cuz mm-hmm. like everyone else there was wearing fucking like expensive dresses and, and like, like nice people attire were mewing and stuff thinking that they're too good to be there. Like, oh <laughs> mate, uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's our right. group of like comedic comedians was we all had fun and took the piss. And then everyone else who was there was like, I'm too good to even be here and like I'm the best looking person in the world and fucking I'm just the best. And like there wasn't much fun being had amongst the other crew. But That was the same thing as when we went to the meta party. Exactly. Like the same oh, yeah. thing where everyone was like dressed up real nice and we just got two t-shirts printed out that said Ketter and Caps on it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, tell what, so say what Mash Tag did. And then yeah, so Mash Tag... Um, we were all just pumping drinks and we were like, Ben, Mashtag and I were like, let's break the world record for most free drinks drunk and we were just pumping them. And then Matt, we were standing at the stage and like there was, it was pretty busy. There was probably like 150 people there and um, there was like a DJ on. And she was, was actually good. Yeah, was, she was just spinning like fucking rap and stuff. But she was on stage and there was, so it was like a full stage and Mashtag got up in front of like the 150 people there like fucking... Posh event, love Islanders with his with stuff. his shirt off, mm. just rig out, and he was like running around the stage, and then he was like up behind, like next to the DJ. She was probably fucking shitting herself, and then security came and just like, oh, we got to kick you out, and he's like, oh, fucking all right, and then he just left, and we didn't see him again. Yeah, I woke up to that on. He, Sam's... I messaged him about. It. He said he doesn't even remember doing it. Yeah, I woke up to that video on Sam's story, and I was like, what the fuck? Up, where was I when this happened? Like, I don't remember that happening at all. And then you can see me front and center. <laughs> Filming on some, <laughs> not even my phone. So it's <laughs> filming on someone else's phone, like seeing everything, and I just have zero recollection of it happening. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you came home and just went to sleep quietly. And yeah, and then, <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I came home at like three a.m. and was just charging around the house and woke Zach up and was just yapping for an I hour. I fucking like walked up the stairs, must have kicked like a nail, and my foot was just bleeding all over the house. So I had to sleep with one sock on. Mm. Should we um should we plug our new series that we're gonna be doing for the rest of our yeah. lives? Hey, you guys talk about it. I'm gonna write, I need to write down the jokes. Still, okay. But you guys talk so about it. So going off last week's episode when we had Connor Bergeson on, we did a we filmed a YouTube video with him, which is it, it should already be on like fifty thousand million views. Yeah. And if you haven't seen it, go and watch it because it's actually like, I think it's one of the funniest things we've done. Do you, would you say? Yeah, I reckon it's... One of the funniest one videos of, we've done. We that get, and the West Ham vlog was funny. Yeah, true. It's it's um, 
we get smashed and we do drunk cooking and we make smash burgers with Connor and it's just hard to, it's hard to explain what happens but like it's just go and watch it because we are super proud of it and we're going to be doing it a lot more. We should more. cut up a minute version of it and post it on TikTok. Yeah, Zach said he was going to do that. Yeah. So, so go and watch it because it was fucking great fun and leave a comment. Say you came from the pod. Yeah. Say, you, say you came on the pod. Where the pod gang at? <laughs> where, the, where the pod gang at? But it was fucking fun to do. Fun Make to film. Come, and, Murph. and also the burger was elite as well. The high burger. Rating. We're not gonna say we're not gonna say what the rating was, but it was it was high. Nine out of eleven stars. It was the it rating was, a was high. Video. Why was the rating high? Why wasn't I high? You were high. Was I? I've got a sty. In my eye. We um we love doing drugs over here at the Nan's Face House. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, let's do some fake fucking brand deals. I, I, I've got a, I've got a decent one today. Do you want to go first? Uh, mm, yeah, okay, yeah, because okay. mine is pretty fucking shit. Like, okay. So the, uh, the product. No, I won't tell you the product. I'll just read the brand deal. Well, this is what we get paid to do. Yeah. Is this a big? Is this a high paying one? This brand deal. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Eight. So we're gonna be 800. minted. We're gonna be minted. Eight hundred. Eight hundred Monopoly dollars. Eight hundred thousand pesos. Fuck yeah. No, 800,000 Balinese dollars. So what, like yeah. 80, 80 bucks. bucks. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Split between three of us. Um, Minus tax and expensive. So we fucking owe money. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready? Shoot. Not happy with how fast you are? Yep. Maybe you're in grade three and being fast is what makes you popular. You can say that again. Well, if you're not fast enough, I have just the thing for you. A bucket with a hole in it. If you are transporting water, you better be quick because most of the water will be gone by the time you walk over to where you need to put the water. (laughs) You need to be quick so this bucket with a hole in it will make you fast because you need to be fast to make sure all of the water doesn't spill out. Or sand. If you're using sand, the same thing. It'll make you quick so... Get this bucket with a hole and my (laughs) golly gosh, you'll become quite a bit speedier than you were previously before you owned the bucket with the hole in it. (laughs) You won't be paying 10,000, not 5,000, not 1,000, not $100, but only (laughs) (laughs) $8,000. And it will be the best money you ever spent. Don't get athletics training or fast running shoes, or, or any of that shit. <laughs> Just get a whole with get a whole bucket. It's instead limited time only. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be wrapped with that. <laughs> All right, well done. I like that one actually. Thanks, guys. That was actually really good. Thanks. Yeah. Good fucking. Nice okay, you ready? <laughs> <clears throat> hey guys, today I'll be endorsing my favorite game to play ever. It's Russian Roulette Hard Edition. Instead of one bullet, there's only one empty chamber. It has six chambers. I put five bullets in the gun. I have four kids that don't love me. Three times I've walked in and my wife cheated on me. Two times I've declared bankruptcy and one giant gaping hole in my soul that lost its will to live a long fucking time ago. I personally have played this game four times and somehow haven't won yet. Or lost. I mean, it really depends on how you look at it. Tonight I'm going to drink a full bottle of Captain Morgan, not sponsored, and, and look at old photos of my kids who hate my guts and play Russian Roulette Hard Edition until I empty the whole fucking clip into my dome. Now who's with me? Wow, you really sold me on that yeah, one. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, is, it, is everything okay at home? Do you have a oh, fake yeah, brand deal? That's fine, yeah. No, no, I don't. I don't oh, have a fake brand deal. But shut. There we go. Wait, Guys, brands... Ever since we started doing this, brands have just been hounding us. DMs, 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 yeah. DMs. We can't do them all, okay? So the more money you offer, obviously we're going to do that. Mm-hmm. So just keep going up with the offers. Yeah. What was that one? That was like, oh, I can't even say the number was that high. Yeah. Russian Roulette Hard Edition and a bucket with a hole in it. They're, let's they were, just say <laughs> we don't have to worry about rent for yeah. at least till next month. So... <laughs> um, a bucket with a hole in it. And if you have any <laughs> ideas for brands or if you have a brand yourself or ideas that you want us to read out, shoot us over a message at Nan's Face Pod on Instagram and we can we can sell that shit. We can sell fucking ice to an Eskimo. We can sell crack to a crack addict. We can sell beers to an alcoholic. That would be hard. 
That one's probably hard. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a splitting headache. Do you? Yeah. Have you drunk enough water? Nah, but I've been eating heaps of salty food today, so oh, I, nice. I don't know what. And I've, you've had one coffee. I've had coffee, no water, and heaps of salt, and I drank mm. last night, so I don't know why. Why the fuck I'd have a headache? How'd you know my name was Ake, and you want to give me splitting head? Uh, Jack, Jack. Um, no, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> crack. Fact. Remind me. Should we do, should we read out some jokes to lighten yeah, the mood up? Yeah, let's lighten the mood. That that Russian roulette brand deal. They paid a lot, but it was fucking depressing. Yeah, I know. You know, oh, no. you know what you, we should start doing. What's that? We should start. Um, no, 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 don't. We should start. Uh, we should start having more fun. Like we should do more fun things. Yeah, These, in life. That's I've a good got. Idea. A You've got twofer. great ideas. I've got a one-two punch of one. So Ben, you read out that first. The second half is on the other side. Okay. And then Liam, you got to when Ben's finished his straight away unfold that. And nice. That all right. Well, let's do let's do that one first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we got some jokes that we all wrote for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, they say behind every strong man, there's a strong woman. Now, could you imagine how strong these people would be if they had a big black sky behind them? You've got to put some more if oomph the, into if it. They, if they had a big black guy behind them? Could you imagine how strong those women would be? Uh, wait, do I, I go mean, now? those men would be? Yeah. yeah. I agree with Ben. That's why I like to get fucked in the ass by a six foot seven black dude every second night. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> wait, why Why would I like to... I can't even remember the... the oh, that no. That is crazy, Lee. When the, how do you have when, time for that? Yeah, when do you, when do, you do that? Actual I, I when does he come over? What, what I, well, I, I imagine that would be loud, but I've never heard it. What? Jeez. That joke was kind of miserable, so I'm going to read the joke that I wrote for myself, the, the better one. <laughs> My local priest... This is neat handwriting, Blowy. My local priest has been trying to get me to do some volunteer work at the local LGBTQ... Special needs school. <laughs> oh my God. But I keep telling him that I just can't wrap my head around the concept of volunteering. Like, if I'm going to have to hang out with... Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't say so You will bleep it out, you nonce. Like, if I'm going to have to hang out with... <laughs> I should at least be getting paid for it. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you can't say what? that. That's, people cancelled those words sorry. a long time ago. Sorry, I just that's how I feel about them. That is fair enough. You're a cold, cold human. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure my joke that I wrote, I remember it not being anywhere near as bad as that. Um, a lot of people think that because of my Asian heritage, that's the reason why I'm so smart and can come up with these amazing stories and poems. However, the real reason is. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Jing Jong China. <laughs> Could you just say lick on my asshole? <laughs> Zach, Zach, that is fucked. We know you're allowed to say it, you but you can't probably shouldn't. Do that voice, oh, Zach. I'm what sorry. the hell? I don't know. It was, it was my what it was the my fuck? ancestors took oh <laughs> took my over. God. You, you, do you have one that you wrote, Ben? Yep, I got one. Here we okay. go. So, so something you guys may not know about me is that I'm secretly very religious. Re- religiously trying to get the girl I met at the White Fox event to reply to my DMs. If anyone knows her, tell her I need to speak with her. If I can't have her, fucking nobody can. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that wheezing noise? Oh. Wow, that was, that was funny. Oh oh. That was <laughs> you got to keep that in. Fuck, it is hot in here. Why don't you get your shirt off and your jocks? Well, maybe I will. Get them off. Oh, fuck, that was funny. I need a, I need a uh, fucking monster. That coffee. I got a monster between my legs you can have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hell. I didn't realize I wrote an essay for today's joke swaps. Yeah, right. well, you did. <laughs> You're going to like Jesus this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're going to love this one, man. <laughs> Something not many people know about me is that I'm Asian. <laughs> Here are my top three least favorite things about being Asian. <laughs> I can't pull any bitches. I can't see. And I had to eat my dog when I was nine. Wow. But all these things are okay because my favorite thing about being Asian is that I'm really good at math. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Why'd you do two oh. Asian jokes? I don't know. Back back? I don't know. I'm Filipino. <laughs> I'm not even Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't see. Oh, oh god, that's hell. good for the soul. Well done. <sighs> Some good stuff there, guys. I think we are. Uh, yeah, how did you guys both go to fucking me doing I don't know, Asian we, accents? We that's didn't crazy. even fucking plan that at yeah, all. Yeah, what the Sigma? And what do you yeah, mean? That's asking? crazy. Yeah. That's whatever. fucked. Well done. They were good jokes. I love yeah, smelling my sweaty nuts. <laughs> Can, should we do some beer review and just ignore what yeah, we said? Yeah. We, I, don't, I don't have a story, do you? Oh, that's good stuff. Do you not have one? I don't have a story. I'll uh, make one up. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell the one that I have now. Okay. Head. Okay, cheers. All right, so this week we've got a beer that I'm assuming all three of us haven't tried. I definitely haven't. No. Nah. My voice kind of sounds a bit covid and I better not have fucking gotten it from this gimp. Because I STG, if I can't taste again and I have to I'll fucking like wheat smells like jet fuel. That'll be good. I'll just be able to shoot loads into your mouth and you won't be able to taste <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> um, also, our local our local off-license where, where we bought this, he's a great man, but... He's clearly snapped this off a four pack and he's flogging them off for premium price when they're supposed to be sold in four packs because there's even instructions on the can about how to break them mm. apart from the four packs. So, yeah, yeah. You cheeky fucking dog. Anyway, this is a um, <clears throat> it's a beer called Skull Beer. It's gonna no, Skull Super, a strong high quality lager. Alcohol eight percent. It's a can that's black and gold. Four fucking standard drinks. That's eight a, percent yeah, beer. That's a strong beer. Holy fucking jeez. Please drink responsibly. This is going to taste like acid. Serve cold. Well, it is cold. Uh, mm. It's golden black can with some red. It's actually kind of a... I don't know if I really like the design of the can. I just kind of looks like I'm drinking petrol. <laughs> yeah. It looks like black licorice. All right. Let, yeah. yeah. It looks like Fucking gonna... anyone who eats b- licorice all sorts or black licorice or black cats, fuck you. Because they're all shit. My pop used to eat licorice all sorts. What does he eat now? Fucking, I don't know. Whatever food they got up in heaven. Let's go in for the crack. Mm. Oh, nice. Good Very crack. good crack. What's the crack like? What's the crack? What's the crack? It's yeah, sunny. The fucking pubs near where we live are probably going to be like fucking be seven beers. No. Oh, dude, I saw the best sale fucking at the pub near us the other day. What pub? You walk in. You pay full price for a beer. You get to leave with that beer. You get to you get to fuck have it. Off. You that's get to drink go it. Go fuck but yourself. How good's that? Go fuck yourself. That's yeah, not. I know. We should be so. We should. We better check it out. You know. No. What's, yeah. You know it's something that like I realize you can just do sometimes. You can just lie. Jerk to people. off in public. Do that as well. I once convinced li- an Uber driver in LA on the way from LAX to my thing that I was a brain surgeon. Yeah, like you can what, just say shit. What story? What but made I, you no, think I'm of just that? Saying, I just thought about like last night we were at the pub and it was like 20% off for people with student cards. And I was like, oh, I left my student card at home. Mm. He was like, I believe you. And then he just gave me the student discount. I'm like, yeah, like, yeah but you were screaming at him. Please, please, please do it. fucking do it. I've got a card. Yeah, it's like when my ex-wife would question me when I'd walk him late, coming home late from work after I'd just been plowing prosties. And she mm. said, what are you doing? Why, do you, why are you working so late? I'm like, D- D- they, they're keeping me at the office. i got to fucking the have these files in. Mm. And I'll just lie to her face. Yeah. And then I would say to her, no, I love you. I love the kids. Yeah. You know, and I'd, the whole time no. I'd be living a double life. This guy gets it. It's like, it's like <laughs> when I told that cop that it was a deer in my boot. That's why it smelled so bad. But it was actually a dead hooker. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like when the police officer pulled me over and said, have you been drinking? And I said, I oh, only one or two. Yeah. And I, I'd, I'd had one or two from the time he pulled me over. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know how fast you were going? Fuck no, I'm shit face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going in for I the I didn't even year. know I was driving. <laughs> 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 oh, that is not a good yeah. reaction. Oh, yeah. That is fu- It tastes like there's vodka in it. That's not that bad. What? <laughs> that's, that's not. What? I don't think that warrants. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is nowhere near as bad as you know that it was going to be. Fuck both of you. Yeah, that's right? that's skull- not even that bad. Skull bro. the whole thing then. I won't skull the whole thing, but that tastes like a. Uh, Fuck, there's a beer that there's an American beer that this tastes exactly like. Oh, 9 11 beer. Yeah, 9 11 beer. <laughs> Four Might be that tragedy. No. This Isn't it good. a it bit is. too quinky dinky that the number for fucking cops in America is 9 11? Mm. Squick, someone call 9 11. Uh, 
911. Yeah, that think- instantly magnified my headache. That's not that's, that's not good. that bad at all. I could probably yeah. Have, let's pump four of those. I'd probably have like a few of them. Yeah, you know what's the best to wake beer up. to drink in? Oh, fucking- that's great. What the fuck? That's so good. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It must have just been the first sip was very like vodka. What do you actually like it? No, nah, well, it's definitely better on the reset. Yeah. But the first one was—it takes nah, like those straight. You're just in the first changing one. your mind because that's we just like, like you're it. a sheep, man. You're, you're a sheep. You're, you're sheep. following the wolves and the yeah. lions like us. <laughs> what are you rating that? <sighs> for, for the percentage, that's like a fucking eight for me. Yeah, I, yeah. How much was for it? For it being eight percent, that's nuts. Uh, I don't know. I got two scratches. Couple with of it, so I can't even well, check. Well, paid for itself because you won five pound off the scratchy. True. Yeah, but I paid five pound for the scratchy. Uh, yeah, but you still won five pound. Oh, true. Yeah. So that means that I How do you not come away that? with double. You did. Yeah, you've, um, tr- you've doubled your money. It's so hot in this fucking. It is fucking hot. Just room. open the thing. No happy way. birthday, Ben Garrens. Oh, yeah, you big birthday. fucking <laughs> gimp. Um, oh, why wasn't that open? Well, with noise. Yeah. What? 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 Well, we used to record podcasts fucking outside. <laughs> When? Uh, no, when Aubrey. the fuck did I um, ask? <laughs> that's like in the States. Well, I don't know if they sell them here, but you get the Voodoo Rangers and they're great. Mm. And they're 7%. And you can easily pump like fucking six of those and just be like blind. Oh, what was the thing that I had a drink like not long ago that was like a super high percent you can't even Voodoo fucking tell Voodoo Ranger. Or something. Wait, they're fuck, like what IPAs. was it? And they come in cans that big. You just get fucking blasted off them. Oh, when- what are your top three favorite beers in the UK? Um, a free beer. Should we do this as a clip? No, favorite actual beers in this country. But like Guinness, or are we calling that an Irish beer? No, no, no. Just what you can buy on tap. Oh, here. number one, Guinness. Well, are we doing this as a clip? Yeah. These are the top. These are our top three favorite beers in the UK, coming from Australia, where we have way better beers. Number one, Guinness. Number two, neck oil. That is the second. That is a great beer. Mm. Neck oil is fucking awesome. It's the only thing. It's like eight fucking pounds for a pint, but it's unbelievably good. Neck oil. Number number three. This was number two for me, but we had to agree on neck oil. Was when you get all the liquid from the bar mats at the end of the night, and then you Mm. put it into a pint. Ring it out. You you, ring them. You you ring ring them. Yeah. If you want to throw in a little tea towels or like limes or something on the ground. Yeah. And then you get to drink that, and it's free. That that. Yes. So it sounds yes. bad, but it's yes. great. Mm. Fuck Estrella and Stella. Fuck Australia. No, Estrella. Who's Estrella? I hardly know her. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's watch. Some but no, t- yeah. What uh, What would your actual top three beers, favorite beers, be in this country? Guinness, neck, uh, local. Local. I don't like it. Guinness Neck Oil Locale, probably. Locale's pretty good. It tastes like a bolt. Isn't it just local? Right. I think it's called local. Uh, no, it's supposed, it's supposed to be like a play like it. It's not locale. a bolt. It's like... Izzy like, had one... It's I like mean, some L-O. random person that I was sitting with at the pub yesterday had one. And it was like... It's, they're too like like milky for me. I like a sharp, like a like a Peroni or an sharp, acai. A Piranha. Yeah, but that's what like a... Like a bolt is like creamy a little mm. bit. Like it's like... It's got that like... Maybe I just don't remember. Yeah, Guinness Neck Oil and... Bolter. I hardly know her. Guinness neck oil. Shut up. <laughs> fucking hell. Who are you? Shut I love an acai. Up, the thought of going into the pub and having an acai is really horny. Can we... How, how, how horny? How horny you up? Are you? What, what do you reckon is the most horny you've ever been in your life? <laughs> Fuck. Day four BTV. This, this, is, this, is not, this is not good conversation. There was that one time I took my fucking little nephew to kindergarten. I was literally teeing you up for a fucking joke. And you yeah. Well, I can't that. out myself like that. I live next to a primary school. I literally school. gave you an alley-oop and you just... Blocked your own my you blocked my alley. I blocked you blocked cock. it all the way down to the other end of the fucking court, and I grabbed it still in midair and dunked it. <laughs> Let's right. wait. Did you see that? Um, Zach Bryan got drunk and tweeted that like Kanye better than Taylor Swift, and then uh, he got so much hate that he deleted his account. <laughs> yeah, he deleted his Twitter. Account. Deactivated his Twitter account. They deactivated it. No, he, he did. did. Oh, what? That is so fucking funny. He loves doing shit when he's yeah. Drunk. I was like, gonna say driving, he's just <laughs> fucking. This is a big. No, yeah, he and he, he did that one time where he threw the chair off the roof. He was shit faced and yeah, just threw a chair off the roof. He doesn't have a DUI. He like. Was got pulled over for speeding or something, and then the cops were like, "What? Where's your ID?" And he's like, "I'm a famous musician." And then they had to arrest him and detain him overnight. 
I think you might have that bullshit. I think you might have might have been drinking. I'm a famous. Did you see the video of Tyreek Hill fucking getting? Yeah, outside the stadium. No, he was in his car. On yeah, the but fl- that was outside the Dolphin Stadium. I thought that was on the freeway. No, he was driving to the game. Was that before the game? Yeah, that was before the game. He was being a cunt though. Like, yeah, I he was being a fuck. They were in the like the cops were in the wrong, but he was being a fuckwit. Like, yeah, fuck off, Tyreek Hill. Zach Bryan, fucking living Zach, his life. Zach, news of the week. Here we go. Favorite hour of the week. Uh, fucking two minutes of the week. Fuck. Okay, wait. Let me just. Very much Liam for that insightful episode on why men are better than women. Very interesting topics there. Okay, now over to you, Zach. Hopefully, you can save this train wreck of an episode with Zach's use of the world, our fan favorite segment of the week. Welcome back to Zag's News of the World, where I doggy, (laughs) where I find news in the world and bring it on here. Firstly, we've got Kate Middleton is back in the news this week after announcing that she has completed all of her chemotherapy treatments. This, of course, following a scary run-in with cancer. The Today Show stated that she is currently able to uh, she's officially able to return to work after this, leading to many wondering what the fuck she actually does. (laughs) (laughs) True. What the fuck does that bitch do? When asked, the royal press representative said that she will now return to her duties as Princess of Wales. This includes her philanthropy work regarding children, her undertakings in the fine art world, and of course, sucking off Prince Willie. (laughs) Nice. Imagine imagine sucking him off. This comes after an interview we did a few weeks ago where we asked Prince William, what was the hardest thing to deal with during Kate's battle with chemo? My cock. Mm. (laughs) To which she responded, actually, wasn't that bad, except for when she lost all her hair. Then she looked like a little boy, so my uncle kept trying to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Who's his uncle? The uncle he speaks of, of course, being Prince Andrew. Nice. Who the fuck is Prince Andrew? The man who doesn't sweat, bruh. Mm. What does that f- mean? Uh, it's this whole thing. Don't worry. He's nah. also, he fucks kids with Epstein. <laughs> yeah, he's also the former Duke of York, who was stripped of his royal title when being heavily connected to sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> that's Ben <laughs> That's fuck that photo When was seen, that? That's at Bryson's Fuck that's funny Epstein you might remember infamously had an island Where many celebrities and prolific figures visited To participate in vulgar acts of pedophilia Those that visited the island include Former presidents Donald Trump and Bill Clinton Also there was Stephen Hawking David Copperfield, Russell Coit Donnie Berger, Lex Warner, Leonardo DiCaprio, Miss Frizzle, half of the Magic School Bus, in brackets, as victims, <laughs> Cameron Diaz, the other half of the Magic School Bus, in brackets, as abusers, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, and Millie that Bobby photo Brown. Of Crash Bandicoot. Really no. sad to see. Now, back to Liam and Ben in the studio. Well nice. done. Well done. What was I going to say? Oh, did, speaking Can- of pedophiles, did you see that? Um, <laughs> did you see that fucking Diddy's on Suicide Watch? Yeah, he's... Mate, they're going to kill him and we're not going to get to know who was at the fucking freak-offs. No, I want to know who was at the freak shows. The- I want to know who's baby oiling it up and fucking wristing it off. Did you hear like we know the Trey list songs. of items that were there? Yeah. thousand bottles of baby oil. What the fuck do you need that much baby oil for? Oh, that is wild. I love now that like on every House of Highlights post or like Bleach Report, there's always one person that comments... Man, I still can't get over it. A thousand bottles of baby oil <laughs> and it'll have like 10,000 likes. Let's just... It yeah, is here, I'll wild. Get up some. So yeah, yeah, fuck. Is it just... Do we only know about the thousand bottles of baby oil or is there more? Oh, I think have you seen more. one of his kids is legitimately just him, like looks identical. And then like they filmed this thing. It's like, I did his kids outside the courtroom and like, do you know what your dad did? And then the fucking... It films the kid and then he's like... The top comment was like, Whatever his name is should be arrested just for looking so much like Diddy. <laughs> um, well, in He's news of people bad. getting uh, sued, did you guys see Mr. Beast? No, is he I getting didn't. sued? He's again, not, like he's properly getting sued. Oh, really? Wait, when did this drop? Oh, like a week ago. Here, let me get it up. Is yeah, this the lunch Lee shit? No, no, no. This is like uh, he's pr- probably going to be able to come back from this, but not like. To where he was before. This really? is like, mate, Mr. Beast. He he did seem too good to be true. Yeah, like too is... nice, too too Wait, perfect. What's he done? And now also... he's being getting fucked. Yeah. And he hangs out with Logan Paul too much. And to... lawsuit target. So basically, uh, it it's kind of come out that. Th- so firstly, this is happening through he was having an Amazon show come out. 
called Beast Games, which is going to be like a massive thing where it's like contestants and stuff do what like they usually do in Mr. Beast videos. But then mm. it kind of like uh, allowed people to come out and kind of say that in general he's been like real shitty. So in like videos and stuff like that where there's like say 100 people competing for something, mm. he'll like – First of all, people like won't get fed. They'll be like treated very poorly. Like they won't get fed. They'll actually be in like really fucked positions and stuff like that. And then on top of that, like usually the people that win are like people that he's friends with or the people that he like knows behind the scenes. Mm. And so he's not actually giving away all that money. Ah. And so all the people competing for it are kind of like actually not really, they don't really have a chance. They're just kind of there. Filling in the numbers. Just filling in the numbers. Um Mm. That's fucked. I thought but, he was yeah. one of the good guys. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no how, good influences. How um there's Yeah, there is mash tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fact. How um so, how yeah. like legit is it? Is it just like a few people saying their feelings got hurt or is it well, actually it's a class action? Action. There's there's been a lot of It's a class action lawsuit. What does that mean? Isn't that it just means, mean there's heaps of them? Yeah, it means there's a lot of people that yeah. sign up. It's like basically uh, like one lawsuit with a bunch of people behind it instead of just like one. Mm. Um but yeah, so it was all like apparently on the Amazon show they were saying they're underfed, overtired. Like people would go over twenty four hours without eating food at some points, not given water. There weren't enough staff. Um, well, because he runs like fucking five videos at once, so he'll have people doing like a hundred days in here and like yeah fifty days in here over there, and doing like he's always doing so many sh- things. That like, but um. Yeah, and then it's just like people saying in general it's been shit to work under him. Like working for any of his companies has always been kind of terrible. And then, yeah, on top of that, there's the recent stuff where his like friend was like a pedophile or something. Um, Which there's nothing wrong with that. The, the, yeah. um, the, the, did you see his lunchly thing? Is it, Wait, Beast Burger or Lunchly? No, nah, lunch, so he has... That's his, nuts. Yeah. He'll come back from that. L- lunch, lunch, speaking of not coming back, Fuck, the TMG podcast is so sad now. It's just Noel and it's just like, oh, fuck. Yeah, man. that is a very depressing oh, thing like, to fucking see. You see the thumbnails. He's, just like, he's a funny guy. but this... Is that rain? What the yeah. fuck? Oh, shit. I got fucking shit. Sun you see, because um, I used to love the TMG podcast. And it's very sad that this has happened because now there's n- Cody's never going to come back to the internet because like, why the fuck would he? And um, it sucks because... Noel and Noel's so funny, but he needs Cody to bounce off. What him. did Cody do again? Fuck Tana of Mon- when he when she was nineteen and he was no seventeen and he was like twenty five. That's illegal. <laughs> oh brother! Oh, shit! I don't even need to make a few phone calls. Yikes! <laughs> nah, but anyway, Mr. B. So do you know what Lunchables are? You would because you're an yeah. American fuckwit. Yeah, don't we have them? I we didn't have we those have... in Australia. Mm, don't think so. Lunchables chocolates. Wait, no. Nah, lun- Lunchables are like um, it's like these little boxes that you get for lunch, and it's like has like crackers and cheese and sliced. We had our own like, mate, Yeah, it's, it's just like a nice. fucking lunchbox thing that parents, lazy parents, buy their kids to make for lunch. Mm. And there's like a chocolate in there, a drink, and like a little fucking food thing. It's like most processed shit that you could possibly eat. And now Prime and uh, Mr. Beast Bar, like Feastables. Have joined forces to make Lunchly fucking so lazy with the name yeah. Lunchly instead of Lunchables, and they're like they're the same thing. It's like they have like the turkey and cheese and cracker mm. fucking thing, and then like a Mr. Mini Mr. Beast bar and a fucking bottle of Prime, and they're flogging that. Off. They're gonna poison Fuck. the fucking universe. That's what I mean. It's actually Idiocracy. Have you seen that movie? Wait, no. Nah. Is that what the movie's called? The one where it's like he like travels into the future and everyone's. Re- I mean, everyone's really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I haven't seen that. It's, they're just printing money at this point. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, they're already billionaires. Why the fuck do they need to make Lunchly, which is just going to fuck... Like, Lunchly's not fucking healthy, and they keep yeah. marking it. They, they make this... Actually, we should fucking get it up. You should get yeah. the video up. Go on, Just go on um any of their accounts, and it's, it'll be their newest, like, pinned video. They got, like... The health stats and like how they're... I'm like, fucking it's processed shit. A chocolate and a prime. Prime That's is not, not good. good for you. Yeah. Anyone who says prime is better for you than Gatorade and shit. No, it's not. It's not at all. Believe me. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I've had Gatorade before. and I've had prime. But I will give them this. The lemon lime prime uh, energy drink is the best tasting energy drink I've ever fucking Fuck had. Fuck no. No, it isn't. No, go on, um, go on Insta. Instagram. 
No, it is. I had one the other day. Like the other day, because I wanted that size can, and it. I hated myself for buying no it. No but... way, LucasAid fucking alert are better. You know how Prime like drink Prime messages every influencer on yeah. thing and's like, we'd love to send you some stuff. I love. I've been seeing like influencers posting their story, Prime messaging them. And it's like, are you ready to like prime up? And like, we want to send you the stuff. We'll send your best address. And they just reply, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, let's, let's wrap this up. I don't, I don't even know. This is like, this is going to. Hey guys, thanks for listening to another episode of the Fans Neighbourites podcast. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And uh, Ghost Ones flag is next year. Also, we're all going to get tattoos of our respective teams at the start of the AFL season next year. Um, so you guys should do that as well. We're going to get ours on our face. You guys can pick where you get yours. You pussies can get it somewhere like your bum or your upper leg so that your mummy doesn't get mad, but the real fucking men are going to get it on their fucking mouths. <laughs> You've got problems. I, I've got a headache and I need to go to the gym or something to feel less fucking shit. It's just not helping that it's 100 degrees in here. Yeah, you go it to is the gym. So fucking I fucking, mate, you go to the gym. Can't you tell? Oh, you're yoked, man. Yeah, doggy. Righto, see you next week. See you guys. Love you, bye. Love you guys. I love you more. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, so